An absolute banger of a meet event here. Two serious dogs. I cannot wait to see how Marlon Cheeto Vera plays out against Corey the Sandman Sanhagen. And curious to get your perspective on this one too, because this is definitely two guys that we both have a lot of respect for. Two dudes who have a lot of skills, but I'm curious to know who is the bigger dog because I think whoever answers that question will be the victor in this one because I'm envisioning a very close competitive fight between these two guys. We know the success that Cheeto has had recently. He's won four straight, picked up performance of the night multiple times, picked up fight of the night once against Davy Grant. And talk about a win that's aging nicely, Davy Grant, along with the other victories that Beautiful meme-worthy stoppage over Frankie Edgar, another performance of the night, and then the decision light work victory over Rob Font, where Rob Font was able to land many, many strikes, but the damage and severity of the strikes that Cheeto was landing on him seemed to just be two to one, and he did the same against Dominic Cruz, and that fight looked a little bit differently, right? One could argue that Cheeto was losing that contest before he got the finish, but it was a very patient, methodical, calculated Cheeto Vera who was waiting for his opportunity and once he saw it was able to capitalize. So I personally was very impressed with Cheeto in that fight and the other ones as well. And the same can be said against Corey Sandhagen, right? The fight, fighter that we just saw win against Song Yadong, he got that fourth round TKO stoppage. I thought that was the best version of Corey Sanhagen that we've seen to date. And this is a guy who already had some beautiful wins, some beautiful finishes against Frank Yeager as well, against Marlon Marais. Uh, had that win against the Sun Cell. Like, Corey Sanhagen has been in there and has beaten some of the toughest dude. And the guy that fought Song Yudong recently was the best version of Corey Sanhagen that we've seen yet. So I love the matchmaking here. I think that it's perfect timing for both guys in this point of their careers. Who are you going to take in this one, and who do you see having these stylistic advantages? And how's this one play out, mate? Yeah, no, uh, man, this is such a hard matchup. Very tough for me to pick because every time I pick against uh, Cheeto Vera, uh, he wins. So, I don't know. I, I've been going back and forth. You know, am I riding the Cheeto train? Am I eating Flaming Hot Cheetos this weekend? Or am I going to science class uh, with Corey and all the other nerd turds? Um, and, you know, I'm not really a fan of Corey. I do like Cheeto. But I just, I respect Corey's style so much. And I like, I'm always a fan when they're taller and they have more reach. Um, and I, I think Corey's got the skill set to get it done. But honestly, it just wouldn't even surprise me at this point if Corey gets knocked out. Because every time I pick against Cheeto, he knocks his opponent out. Then I'm like, oh, great. So I'm probably fading this completely. I could actually see the odds getting closer to a pick -em or even slightly favor Cheeto as the fight gets closer. Um, because I do find it interesting that, you know, Cheeto's, like I said, insane momentum on a great fight win streak. His... Uh, you know, his uh, confidence is at all-time high. And Corey Sanhagen, he's just, you know, he's just figuring out the world. And he's solving science on the side for fun. Like, he's the smartest guy on earth, apparently, according to him. Um, so I, th I think I got to take the smartest man alive on this one. Um, and I think self-proclaimed smart man is just going to be too fast, too strong. Um, going to have a really smart game plan. Because I do think he is pretty smart. Um but uh, it's going to be a close fight, I think, to be honest. And I hope Cheeto knocks him out, to be honest. But I'm going to say Corey wins. Yeah, very interesting for sure. And I definitely don't blame you. I, th I think Corey Sanhagen is the self-proclaimed smartest guy in the UFC. I just wonder if it's going to be a smart pick, picking him against a guy like Cheeto Vera, who is such a dog and is someone who... He had this this brilliant clip earlier in the week where he just doesn't seem afraid of anyone, right? Like, it's impossible to intimidate this guy. He is just, uh, I don't know, he seems very grounded. He understands his job. He understands his opponent and just seems like nothing ever phases this guy. And same can probably be said against Corey Sanhagen, but I don't know. I just, something about Cheeto Vera to me suggests that he has that it factor where I think that if things get ugly, when things get gritty, if I'm putting my money on one guy, then it's going to be Cheeto Vera. But again, maybe this is that opportunity for Corey Sanhagen to show the world that he too is that same type of dog that Cheeto Vera is. And 
Now is the time for him to get that statement victory. I do wonder, though, me, and I want to get your thoughts on this. Corey Sandhagen's out there talking about Sugar Sean O'Malley. He already has the call up, the call out lined up. And granted, that would be an amazing fight. I mean, we probably agree that those are the two best strikers in this bantamweight division. And what a cool matchup it would be to see those two six foot one monsters that have the most lethal strikes just face off against each other. But are you at all concerned that? Maybe Corey Sanhagen is dismissing Cheeto Vera and is looking too forward at uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley, and that could bite him in bite him in, in the ass, so to speak. Or uh, is there no concerns there? You know, uh, a famous quote Corey Sanhagen said once was, "You know, if the fight game was based off of intelligence, I would never lose." So. Just that kind of explains a lot about his personality and, and how he thinks. So I think he's definitely got a big ego. And that's why I said I, I hope Cheeto knocks him out uh, because he totally, totally disrespecting Cheeto and kind of looking over like, oh, yeah, Cheeto's just like, he's Cheeto. And I love Flaming Hot Cheetos, like whatever. But uh, I want Sugar Sean. He's the biggest draw. And it'll be an exciting fight. It's like, well, yeah, of course. But, dude, you have a killer who – allegedly beat Sugar Sean and then also beat Frankie Edgar and then beat Rob Font and all these other people, um, you should worry about him for now. And then you can worry about, you know, the Sugar Show. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, did Corey prepare or was the science class go a little too late? You know what I mean? That's how I, that's how I kind of see it. But, I, I'm just thinking if Corey shows up how he should show up, I think he'll get it done. Um, but I'm rooting for Cheeto. But uh, I think Corey wins. Yeah, I feel you for sure. I mean, of course, the only pushback I might offer is that there was more than just allegations levied against Sugar Sean by Cheeto. But understand your point nonetheless. And it's so true. Sometimes the teacher has to hold you after class and... In this one, I just think Cheeto Vera is taking Corey Sanhagen to school and all of those, all of the brainiacs, all of the uh, mental wisdom and fortitude that he possesses is just not going to be enough when that cage door shuts and it becomes a brutal Cheeto Vera style fist fight. So I'm taking Cheeto. I like him to win a decision. I actually think that Corey's going to have some success early, but... The later this fight goes, I see Cheeto being able to turn it around, and I see him winning rounds three, four, and five, netting himself a unanimous decision. And I don't know, I me. Mean, I guess I'm just call me Kelvin Gastelum because I love Cheetos in this one. Any last thoughts? No, yeah, this is a this is a great fight. I can't believe it's actually happening. I'm glad that when it got canceled, they rebooked it because this is a awesome fight and i hope the winner of this gets a title fight to be honest um this is a banger down in the comments who you guys take in uh and why and make sure to smash like subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss another video